What's going on guys? In this video, I will show you how to download Pokemon Infinite Fusion on your computer. It's very, very easy and I'll put all the links down below to everything I will show today. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna click the link I will put in the description. It's gonna bring you to a page looking like this. So it's gonna tell you all about their Pokemon community, all that fun stuff and there, you will come to Pokemon Infinite Fusion. Now you can go down, I'll talk about the features, talk about what's new, talk about even the updates. And if you wanna know what the game's really about, you can go to spoiler, see how the game is. We'll see what it looks like. They have this for almost every ROM hack uh, known to man. So as you go down, you can go where it says download. Uh, they also have patches. If you have already have already downloaded, it will explain how to patch a, the game you have and make it to the newest version. But we can do that in another video if necessary. So I am gonna click this folder right here. It's gonna bring me to this little spinny thing. So let that load up for a second. So what I'm gonna do on the bottom right where I am blocking. So right here, you're gonna click download all as zip. So let it download right here. So we're just gonna let it download right here. We're gonna wait. I will cut the video until it's done downloading. So after it is all downloaded, go over to your downloads folder and it should be right here. Pokemon Infinite Fusion download links. So click it again and it should be right here. See the older versions of the game here and the brand new patched folders. But what I wanna do, I wanna head over to my desktop. I wanna go to new and make a new folder. You can call it whatever you want uh, just to make it easier. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drag this and put it right in there. So let that kind of work its magic and let it have some items in there. So once that's open, I'm gonna open it up and it should be able to open right there. So the reason it won't open through here because they are zipped folders. You can't actually open them through the file itself. So you have to make kind of a separate file folder. So once that is all good, oops, click the wrong thing here. Here we go. So once that's all good, we are going to go into that new folder we made and go into here. So we have Pokemon Infinite Fusion, everything here. So I'm gonna click this thing guy right here and do extract all. So this is gonna come up right here and then you could choose where you want to put the file. I suggest keeping it in that folder that you made. So you can go to browse, you can go to desktop and find that folder. So new folder two, and we're gonna go select folder right there and extract. So again, it's gonna take a little bit of time to extract the folder into the other folder. So once that file is complete, this is gonna pop up right here and you can click this little button and this will pop up on whatever screen you have and there's the game. It'll take a little bit of time to load. There's a lot of stuff to kind of uh, assemble in that game, but that is the base of opening up the game, playing that game. As you can see, it does take a while to kind of load everything up, but as you can hear, it does work. Now, if you wanna really open up the screen, you just drag, drop, and or do that and you get the beautiful game that is Pokemon Fusions. So it's a very, very simple and very, very easy to play. I'll exit this right now, but that is it. Oh, my whole screen just went to there. It goes. So it does get a bit uh, glitchy to kind of start, but once it's, it's good to go, you have no issues in playing at all. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments down below and make sure to join the Discord to see me play this game on my YouTube channel and as well to keep in touch with everything going on on all my channels. Thank you guys so much and hope you guys have a great and safe day.